The Portfolio Committees on Land Reform and Labor will tomorrow be embarking on a three-day joint oversight program. They will assess the living conditions of farm workers, farm dwellers and tenants in KwaZulu-Natal's Amajuba and Utukela districts. Let's discuss this further with Inkosi Zweli Velile Mandela. He's the chairperson of the Portfolio Committee on Agriculture, Rural Development and Land Reform. Thank you so much, um, Nkosi, for joining me tonight here on ENCA. Now, what is the main objective and what are you expecting to find during this oversight program that you will be embarking on? Well, thank you and good evening. Uh, in uh, November 2020, Parliament uh, of the Republic of South Africa received a number of uh, complaints regarding living and working conditions uh, for farm workers and farm dwellers and labor tenants on uh, farms. And as a result, uh, Parliament took a decision to establish a joint committee made up of uh, the Portfolio Committee on Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development, as well as that of Employment and Labor. And we were mandated to visit all uh, nine provinces across our landscape of our country and visit uh, stakeholders, that being uh, the departments, uh, both uh, of agricultural land reform and rural development, as well as uh, employment and labor, but also engage with stakeholders, uh, uh, that being uh, uh, unions and uh, NGOs and CBOs that represent uh, farm workers and farm dwellers, as well as labor tenants. We have also had an opportunity to visit farm owners to understand uh, if they are actually implementing uh, legislation, but also uh, to engage uh, with our complainants, that being uh, farm workers and farm dwellers, mm. uh, what, what looking are... into their living and working conditions. Mm. What are some of the, the major complaints that you have received, some of the big problems that these farm workers are facing in that area? Well, uh, our uh, uh, investigations so far in the other eight provinces have uh, come up with a more three-pronged approach. We have found in the part of the departments that officials are not doing their work, they are not visiting the farms, and they are not carrying out inspections, and also they are not informing uh, farm owners in terms of the legislation and what the requirements are in order to ensure that there are proper conducive working and living conditions for farm workers and farm dwellers. But also on the part of uh, farm uh, owners, we are also finding that there are gross uh, human rights violations in terms of uh, uh, the manner they treat uh, farm uh, workers and farm dwellers. We found in some instances uh, farm workers have been labored for 30 years, uh, uh, some we met an elderly uh, uh, gentleman that has been working on a farm for 42 years, and he was simply evicted and set aside on the so on the side of the road, which is totally unacceptable. And uh, some has been a manipulation of court processes where these evictions have been granted without uh, the representation of uh, uh, farm workers and farm dwellers. And this has uh, come at a, a, a real uh, failure from part of the department. But also uh, farm workers are complaining to us with the influx of uh, uh, foreign nationals uh, coming and taking up uh, jobs in the farming community. Uh, whereas we know uh, the high unemployment rate, particularly amongst young people, which is sitting as high as 66%. Uh, these are jobs that should be prioritized for South Africans and particularly young uh, 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 South Africans as well as women uh, to ensure that uh, they are able uh, to be breadwinners and be able to uh, find opportunities of work to support their families. Hmm. Let's talk about some specific steps that you will be taking after meeting with uh, these farm dwellers and workers, um, after engaging with these communities. What, what are the steps that you will be taking as a committee to ensure that, you know, government's held accountable and that these people do get help? Well, I mean, in some of uh, the instances we've had to uh, deal with the matters uh, 
uh, on hand while we are on the farm. So, for example, when we are perusing through uh, the uh, books uh, of the employer and we find that they are non-compliant on certain issues, for example, on uh, proper documentation of their employees and also registering for UIF and uh, compensation fund, if those are not uh, uh, adequately uh, met, we are able through the Department of Employment and Labor to issue a warning and uh, give them 60 days to rectify that. Failure to do so, they will be taken to CCMA and the matter will be enrolled and further prosecution will then uh, be uh, taken. We have found uh, uh, also uh, in terms of living conditions, some of uh, 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 the employees are not uh, uh, staying in dignified uh, housing. And this we've also uh, been able to uh, take up. But uh, we've also looked at uh, 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 the instances where we found that there are foreign nationals working on these farms. And we've looked for proper documentation that they should have proper documents of being in the Republic of South Africa, but also, also uh, having a proper working permits to be able to participate uh, uh, in the uh, employment uh, of uh, laboring in these farms. So there we are able to, with the assistance of Home Affairs, to be able to take immediate steps. But for us as parliament and the portfolio committees, having concluded our work as this is the last province we will be uh, doing oversight on, we will then be uh, doing a report which will be presented before parliament as to see how we can be able to review legislation in bettering the lives of uh, our uh, people, uh, particularly regarding uh, working and living conditions of farm workers and farm dwellers as well as labor tenants. When it comes to the, the foreign nationals that you just mentioned that are on these farms, working on these farms illegally, will the farmers then be held responsible for employing them? Yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, the uh, farmers uh, uh, directly are the ones uh, that are held uh, uh, accountable and uh, will be uh, penalized uh, by both uh, the Department of Employment and Labor. I mean, we have found, for example, in Pumalanga, uh, the uh, provincial department there allows uh, uh, the farm owners to employ as much as uh, 70 foreign nationals. But you find that uh, they exceed those numbers as high as uh, 400 uh, uh, foreign nationals uh, working uh, in a farm. And uh, with the complaints we've had uh, from uh, South African citizens, uh, we've had to then uh, hold that farmer accountable and uh, re have reported uh, uh, our findings through the Department of Employment and Labor. And uh, we hope that the necessary uh, steps uh, will be undertaken to uh, ensure that uh, that uh, farm owner is held accountable. Thank you so much. That's Inkosi Zweli Velile Mandela. He's the chairperson of the Portfolio Committee on Agriculture, Rural Development and Land Reform. That's all we had time for there. Thank you so much. Pre